You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Do you know how easy it is to become a Titan Medical Center patient? It's so simple, it's real easy. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork and see our medical provider and you're on the way to a better, healthy, improved quality of life. So contact us today at 727-389-3220. Feeling tired, feeling down, just not feeling like yourself? Well, there could be a cause to that and blood work can show what can really be going on inside of your body causing the root of this problem. Well, you're not sleeping at night, you don't have clear thinking, or you might even be feeling depressed. This could all stem from hormone deficiencies or imbalances. And it's so easy to look on the inside. All you have to do is call or text us at 727-389-3220 and we can set you up with in-depth blood work nationwide and see what's really going on and give you the answers that you've been looking for. So, this is the real highlight of the photo shoots. My beautiful wife, Sharice, rocking it. And you know what? She is the original Titanet. She's the queen of the Titans. And uh, at that point, she always rocks it. There's nobody that I would place in her place to represent our company than her. She's got it all. Seductive, classy, elegant, intelligent, ferocious when she needs to be, right? And uh, you don't see a lot of females out there that handle their own all on their own. So at that point, it's, uh, it's really nice to have my beautiful wife of 16 years. And I get to work with her every single day, which we make it look easy. And it's not always easy sometimes, but you gotta work through things. That's what a lot of couples don't realize these days is that, you know what, it's too easy to give up and move on and you always think there's gonna be greener pastures somewhere else. Well, when I seen her, I knew that was my pasture for sure and I wasn't leaving. So look at her rock, especially this awesome Titan dress. And I always call Sharice, she's like that wolf in sheep's clothing. She looks all pretty when you come up to her, but man, if you mess around, the claws and the teeth are gonna come out and she's coming for the jugular. If you know Cherise, then you know Cherise. And if you don't, you might have your judgments about her. But she's got a heart of gold. She's finally having a little fun. It's good to see my wife smile. All right, I hear a lot of incredible things about IGF, and that was, I think, if I'm correct, and Mona could back me up on this, that was the first protocol you had me go on. Um, can you tell us some effects, what it does? Sure, sure, sure. So IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one, and this is IGF-1 LR3, because there were two different therapies out there, IGF-1 and IGF-1 LR3. Now the big difference between the two is, is IGF-1 LR3 has a longer half-life. That means it stays in the body longer, giving you a way better result. Now IGF-1 is great because it's like starting at the starting line and going right to the finish line with nothing in between. So with insulin like growth factor one, you're gonna put in your body and the effects you're gonna get are all the anti-aging effects that you would get from growth hormone. Because when growth hormone goes down and converts in the liver, that's what produces those great effects for the anti-aging. Whether it's building lean muscle mass, whether it's losing weight and boosting the metabolism, right? Or it's helping you um, just stay younger because it's helping with sleep patterns, it's helping with hair, skin, nails, and all the other great things that go along with anti-aging. I've talked about this a lot and I just want to refresh. And you just said hair, skin, lean muscle mass. I, I like that you say that because that means something different than when I say building muscle. It, it is, it retains the muscle that you have. And so that means, I think, if you women are out there hearing that, it retains that muscle as you age for women and men. And that's a huge, I think just an intelligent um, side effect of what this does. Absolutely, I mean, it's, 
It's a great therapy for people to utilize. And like I said, whether you want to put on that lean body mass, because people think about, oh, uh, I want bigger muscle. Well, that means they think of somebody that's, you know, maybe a bodybuilder type or Arnold Schwarzenegger, everybody's it. Maybe Michael Hearn's size. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really about, you know, filling out the body nicely, like nice definition of muscle, growing muscle in there and uh, not getting maybe huge, but um, getting to where your genetics are looking really well all the way around on the outside. I think that it took me right back when you talked about that too, what I saw from the, the 70s of Muscle Beach and how the women and men were out there working out and doing these handstands on top of each other. But the women and men looked healthy, athletic, and appealing where it wasn't too much muscle. I think there's a there's a balance for my personal choice is I like uh, a, a, a superhero physique that looks like you can move, um, be healthy, and is uh, appealing to look at. Absolutely, I think that's the big thing: quality of life, improving health, and looking your best outside and inside the bedroom too, as well. I think that's what it's all about. And I think that a lot of people will relate with that, and that's what they want. IGF, and again, this is something that you can get on. Uh, it's a protocol over at Titan Medical. And again, going back, this is the first thing I started. If you want to improve your quality of life, always remember, it starts from the inside out. Call or text us at 727-389-3220. Titan Medical Center. More than a medical center. It's a lifestyle. What's up guys, John here. We are at the Socorus Compound and it is pre-Labor Day. So Labor Day is tomorrow, Monday. It's Sunday today. And we're going to have a pre-Labor Day extravaganza here at the house. No, it's not gonna be extravaganza. It's just a little private thing that I'm having at the house with a couple of friends, maybe 30 or 40 of them, right? And you're like, 30 or 40, that's, that's not a little bit. That's a lot, right, John? Like, nah, usually the birthday party is usually like 100. So, this was just really small, thrown together real quick. Powered by my boys and us at Flying Goat 2 as well with Titan Medical Center, Jason Skelton's in the house, among a number of other great individuals that you guys are gonna get to see firsthand, get to see us having some fun, and get to see riding big slides back there, the pool, basketball court. We got all types of different things for our guests here today. Plus, great food by our chef Louie, who's a private chef. And we've got all kinds of different drinks getting mixed up by Roxy in the back there, who's an awesome mixologist, one of our favorites, and friend, and Titanet, love her to death. And uh, yeah, so come along with us. Let's go check out the food. Let's go check out the drinks. Let's go check out the house. Let's go check out all the fun activities we're gonna do here at Scores Compound, pre-Labor Day extravaganza. Whatever you wanna call it, let's go. Let's see it. And uh, as you walk in, you get to walk past the row. This isn't all of them, but it's just some of them. At that point, you can see, but hey, which one am I going to take out today? Let's go. Hey guys, we're here, Labor Day, making some bomb shots. Blue curacao, lemonade, grenadine, shoot up. Hey guys, you're watching behind the scenes for the Titan Medical Center Labor Day Pool Party. All right, you know what it is. Time to bring it in for cheers to a great Sunday with my close peeps. Love you guys and we just getting started, so let's go. We're here at the Titan Medical Labor Day weekend pool party with all these beautiful ladies. We're about to do some amazing shoots and some amazing content for you guys. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Mercedes here with Titan Medical Center out here doing a photo shoot and shooting videos.
So today we've got a great Labor Day party over here at Titan. We got all kinds of great food. We've got grilled chicken, burgers, John's favorite homemade chocolate chip cookies that he loves. We got some beautiful salads on the inside. It's going to be a great day. All right, guys, so the day is over here at the Sequoia's compound. Got the Sequoia's family here, my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. My awesome son, Peter. Hey. Hi. Hey. hey. And we had just had a pre-Labor Day party here before Monday. We did it on Sunday so everybody could recover nicely on Monday and have some good times with maybe their friends or family at their house. But we want everybody over here today just to have a little experience. It was a private invite only type get together. You know, a personal chef, Chef Louis came out, rocked it. We had Roxy and her husband bartending awesome our own custom tight medical center and Sequoia's drinks which were ridiculous super cool, super cool. dj fresh dj in the whole time and then a live performance by john which was just ridiculous really good peter had some friends over you know their dad was over it was really cool we got to spend some time you know talk it was just really cool so really cool people here connecting really, networking really great vibe really, really that was key everybody told me Great vibe, great vibe, great vibe. So that's it from us. Happy Labor Day from the Socorus family to you guys. See you next time. All right, so we are officially here shooting, and that's Maria. So Maria is definitely one of our good friends, and she's just a fabulous figure to put in the tight medical center gear especially some of these new outfits that we have, like this awesome tight medical center onesie, which looks phenomenal from the front, it looks does. phenomenal from the back. So enhancing what Maria already has, great. Just making it a little bit better, which is you know hard to do in this, this case. So she's rocking it, making it look even better too as well. That blue and white are staple colors for tight medical center. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are here with another tight medical review just for you. So this, this week, I was actually looking forward to, we got to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So if you don't know what Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is, this is a follow-up to the original movie with Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Tim Burton directing, and a couple other actors like Alex Baldwin and Gina Davis and, and some other ones. So, it was a follow-up to this movie. This movie was done, I don't know how long ago. Maybe, it's gotta be over 20 years. I mean, it's gotta be longer than that. And uh, it was a classic back then, and, and this one followed in the footsteps. Thank God they had the exact same director come back, Tim Burton. He usually keeps things real, real uniform as far as the movies go. And he has a creative mind where it's original, right? And at this point, you know, I, I got to see the movie and, and I thought it was pretty good. I thought the storyline was all right. Um, you know, Michael Keaton coming back and being Beetlejuice obviously was, was a, a, a big I don't think they up. would have been able to accomplish it any other way. Absolutely not. Uh -huh. Absolutely not, for sure. Like, Michael Keaton owns that role. So, I mean, it was really good. I mean, the plot was good. Beetlejuice coming back, obviously you want to see him. You got to see some of the other parts, like Sandworms in there, the afterlife. A little bit more in depth about that. I mean, I think they could have set some of the characters up a little bit more, or showed some of the backstory. If you've never seen the original Beetlejuice, I would I would highly recommend seeing that one first. You don't need to necessarily, but you'll know yeah, some of the backstory. Yeah, you'll at least know a little bit about right? when they say little things here and there. Like the yeah, the Maitlands and like all that. So like you'll catch some little Easter eggs if you know the first movie. Um, and obviously the first movie is a classic because that's what they made this off of. So you know, for me, I'm gonna give this one probably like a, like a 3.5, 3.6 as far as stars. I'm not gonna give it higher than that because I thought it could have been a little bit better um, as far as everything goes. I think they tried to repeat some of the, they did repeat some of the different things for the first they movie. Did, yeah. Which I'm like, all right, you probably should have just changed this a little bit because 
it's basically the same story. It's just a, a little bit different a as, as far as the plot line goes. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna give it. 3.5. Um, definitely go see it, especially if you're a Beauty Juice fan. You've seen the first one. You should definitely see the second one. For you Gen Zs out there and all that, I don't know. You might like this, you might not. I so, don't know. You guys might because, you know, they're singing in it. You guys like the singing movies for you know, some very that's strange another reason. thing. You know, I, know, I don't know why you guys like it so much. I know Tim Burton's had some singing for the in some of his movies, but I'm just over it, man. I'm yeah. over it. I, I don't want to go to Broadway. I want to go to the movie theater and watch a movie. <laughs> right? So that's what it is. I like the original Beetlejuice. Yeah? Way better than this. Um, that was okay. I feel like I was ready for a little bit more than the movie delivered. So, I mean, I'd give it probably like a 2.9. You know? Okay. I don't know it was not going to get a 3 for me. No 3s? No 3. Okay. But I thought it was okay. I'm glad they brought back a lot of the original characters. That was really cool. Super cool. Um, You know, the little twist in there was kind of cool. So I was like, okay, cool. There's a little, there was a good little plot going. Yeah. Um, they could have cut out the singing. Yeah. And uh, I think it would have been better without the singing. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. So <laughs> listen, go check it out for yourself. You guys will like it. You don't like listen it. to us. I mean, you could take a little bit of an opinion, but go see it yourself if you really want to. Don't don't say, hey, listen, all these guys gave it a 2.6 or a 3.5. Listen, I, listen. Go Deadpool check it out. got great ratings for me. So did that dog movie. Okay. <laughs> The good ones get good ratings. So go check it out and see it for yourself. And we'll be back with another Type Medical Movie Review just for you <laughs> on the next one. So we'll see you next time at the movies. At the movies. Meet Tim. Tim was living a very unhealthy lifestyle, making poor food choices and feeling down until he came to Titan Medical Center. Tim really turned his life around and started exercising, taking his Titan Medical Center therapies, losing weight, and getting fit. If you or someone you know is interested in becoming the best version of themselves, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Want to ignite, excite, and improve your bedroom performance? We've got what you need. Whether you're a male or female or your partners and you want to improve both of your experiences and pleasure inside the bedroom, then you need to contact us today for our libido enhancing therapies. Call or text 727-389-3220. Be preventative about your health. Know what's going on on the inside. Get blood work from Tight Medical Center and have our medical provider personalize a regimen to improve your quality of life. So contact us today at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here, hey, I bring you guys new tips, tricks, and information to hopefully take your relationship to a new level, an exciting, new, healthy level of love, passion, and everything that comes along with it. So over the years, me and my beautiful wife here, uh, we've went through a ton of different scenarios, situations. Trials the good, and tribulations. The bad, the first. ugly, the, 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 the top, the bottom. I don't like the bottom, you know? It's Definitely um... not. And you know what? You know, we have good friends and we like the people watch. So we've seen so many different scenarios <laughs> go down, you know, that you would never even think of or think this is some movie type stuff that we're talking about. For here, sure, right? for sure. So at that point, like, you know, we want to bring this information to you guys. Now, maybe you're in a relationship right now that's not doing so good. Maybe you're in a relationship that's thriving. Maybe you're just not in a relationship right now and you're looking for that special someone or that right partner. So at that point, like, you know, every week we want to bring you guys something that's going to help you guys out. Something you guys can put in the back of that Rolodex you guys can pull out at any time to be able to utilize. So for this, we want to really talk about, I mean, I guess it's a big, you know, a big thing in relationships. It is a big one, man. Or personally is financial status, right? And how to be financially responsible. And, and how to share financial responsibility right, properly. Right. And, uh, and be able to trust your partner too as well, right? Because when we start getting in a relationship with somebody, it's not like we do a, a background check or a credit check, or maybe some of you guys do. I mean, maybe you guys should. I've heard of some, <laughs> some people out there actually doing this. So at that point, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I think it's like, you know, in the beginning, you know, that's, I don't know, maybe just starts off wrong for me because it's not the old school way. Like you meet somebody, you learn about them, you know, 
people change a little bit through the years too. So they might've been one way, you know, before, and then they've, they've, you know, evolved into something hopefully better. Right. So at that point, you know, I don't want to just, want to just go, oh, I already know everything about your past. And like, that's when I'm going to judge you off your past. Well, I know how much you guys like personal stories that I share about John. So this one's a really good one. And he always mentions it too. So when I first met John, right, he always looked real sharp, you know, always looked real good. And anytime we went out with friends or whatever, he would, you know, pick up the tabs and do this and do that. And I'm, I'm like thinking to myself, okay, you know, obviously I'm looking to see what does he drive? And at the time he had an avalanche and he had a, <laughs> what was the other car? A 300M, 300 I think it was. Yeah. yeah he, had, he had those two cars. Um, I hated the truck by the way. Cause I just, I just don't like, I didn't like the truck, but you know, John looks better in his vehicles today. Uh, but anyways, so I obviously wanted to know, like, you know, what, okay, so what, what do you do? You, you can ask what you do. It doesn't mean that just because you do this job that you make good money, right? So, you know, he was working for a marketing advertising firm, and then, you know, he listed, like, seven other jobs that he did, and I started laughing, like, ha, 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 yeah, right, you don't, you don't own a transmission shop. Yeah, right. Come to find out, he actually did own a transmission shop. I'm like, what? I'm like, this is insane. So, anyways... I was spending at his house one night and, you know, he, I think he went to work or something and I was still there and I'm like, you know, getting ready or whatever. And, you know, he happened to leave a paycheck stub out on his dresser. Some, you know, me being the incredibly nosy individual that I am, I went ahead and looked at the paycheck stub because I wanted to see, you know, what is he making? And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, he's making pretty good money. My thing was is that I went home that night and told my dad, I'm like, hey, you know, I met this really good guy, you know, he's super, super humble and he like, he makes good money, but he doesn't act like it. And I'm like, you know, to me, that was like huge for me. You know, I was like, this guy has good money, but he doesn't act like, you know, you know how most guys act if they have money. He wasn't one of those people. So I was like, you know, it just, you know, you didn't really find too many of those guys back in the day. So to this day, I think it's even more rare that you'll find a guy that's like that. But you know, that's kind of how I found out about John's financial status. Uh, you know, I can't say it was stupid new. around. It was not, I knew you were gonna say stupid, stupid. around. I Let me see what else I can find I, in this guy. I, oh, I went. Oh, di- yeah. Hold on, I went digging for sure. Don't I leave, found everything. Don't leave my home by themselves. I found They're everything. Going through all your med I, cabinet, pictures, diaries. They look at your computer. They look at videos. videos. Like, oh, everything. oh, I got all the good stuff. <laughs> like, what is this? Why were you doing? this 10 years ago what is wrong with you i've only known you for three weeks (laughs) funny story you know but um i mean it's you know i think it's important that you know you know the financial status i think at some point where where do you think that point would be like that you should probably know that time frame i think honestly a couple months in right i mean you should pretty much gauge like hey listen what is what does this person do for a career, right? What are they doing as far as that goes? Now, there's two types of people, right? One, they're just having fun. They could care less. But sometimes those turn into relationships too. So you really do want to find this information out and learn about your partner. Right. And be like, hey, listen, what are you doing? You know, because listen, they could be a drug dealer. They can be making really good money. <laughs> but at that point, be putting you into jeopardy too as well. Right, right, right. So there's different things that, you know, maybe you're okay with, maybe you're not okay with. And at that point, you know, you find these things out, you know, but as you're going into it. And then the next step, I guess, would when be- When you guys get into a relationship. When you're in the relationship, then it starts getting a little bit more like, serious okay, now. Like, okay, yeah, how, how far down right? the line? It's like, okay, you guys can buy accounts. things, bank accounts, but then, you know, moving in together, then now you're both gonna be on a lease per se, or you're on a mortgage, and this is gonna show, you, you know, what your credit rating score <laughs> credit is. Credit score. <laughs> and that's gonna be a big eye opener for you. You know, uh. usually people that have low credit scores <laughs> have either been and made bad financial situations mm-hmm. or, or decisions, or, you know, somebody's brought them down to as well. I mean, at that point, you really want to gauge on that. And that's why a lot of people look at credit scores, you know, whether you're getting a car, whether you're getting a house, uh, whether they're going to extend you credit for anything. They want to look at this because it does show consistency about who you are and the importance of, do you think bills are important to pay or not? Mm-hmm. I mean, it really, really comes down to, and are they going to get their money or not? So, you know, I think this is something you need to really look at. And, you know, if you're going to go to the next step, or maybe getting married, you know, you should be talking about possible debts, right? Now I have, you know, $50,000 in college debt. I have, you know, $100,000 in credit card debt because once you get married, now you're going to be on the hook to a certain degree of those liabilities. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point, you don't want to be like, oh. Now, the other flip side to this, what if you guys start out and you guys are all good, right? Mm-hmm. There's nothing in the past. But the problem is, is that you guys aren't agreeing on how to spend money. That's right. the big one, guys. So the biggest thing is, is to get on the same page. Yeah. I think if you align yourself and you get the exact same goals and you have the exact same mission, you guys are both working towards that goal and mission to accomplish it. And if it's, hey, listen, we need to get a down payment for a house. 
All right, so we need to put $20,000 in the bank because we're looking at buying a $200,000 house or $400,000, whatever it is. And you guys start working towards that goal. Now, you know, you have the wife that goes, you know what, I'm going to Louis Vuitton. She gets two purses. Now, what, $10,000 of your money is gone from your deposit. This isn't a smart move on her behalf. And you guys need to talk about that and say, listen, this is not what we plan to do. Now, if they keep disagreeing with it, this might not be the financial I think that's like that, that's, that's the big one, right? Is that, you know, people will just go out and just spend the money, especially right. if both the parties are working, right? Because right. both parties are working. Let's say they both get direct deposit into their bank account. They're like, well, that's my money and that's your money. So if I want to go and have a lavish lunch with my friends, then I'm going to just go do that. But you didn't really clear it with your significant other and you guys might be struggling for money. Right. And that's not what you should be doing. I right. mean, my parents used to fight about it all the time. That is what almost every, I would say 90% of their fights was about money. Yeah. It was it's terrible. A, it's a big one. It's a, it's a big uh, deal breaker for a lot of relationships, a lot of business partners. I mean, anything. Dealing with money is a very, very serious thing. And, you know, sometimes it makes people good and sometimes it makes people even worse. So at that point, like, you, know, you just need to have that conversation with your partner, be able to trust your partner. And then when you guys really start accumulating and going together, it's a big, serious thing. Because at that point, if you guys do establish a bank account together, you're both signers on that account, then anybody could take that money out of the account at any point in time too as well. Mm -hmm. And I've had some of my friends <laughs> where girls have you know, thought, this guy's gonna lead me, I'm gonna take everything he's got out of the bank account and actually did it. So at that point, you know, you always wanna cover your butt too as well. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and you think that they really love you, you really love them and you trust each other because that's a big foundation part. Trust. Got it. Trust and communication. You don't have, you don't have trust. I mean, you might as well just be, you know, you're on a weak foundation that's just going to fall over at any time. You just don't know when. Mm -hmm. So these are some big things and financial responsibility, especially in a relationship between the two partners is a very, very serious thing especially if you're planning for a future family or whatever you guys are trying to do. Mm -hmm. But you guys need to be on the same page. You need to work together. You guys need to have goals and the do's or don'ts. You gotta have a team. And you know what? Be realistic about it too. If you got a girl that likes to go out, you wanna treat her too as well. So set aside a little budget for, for shopping or, or whatever it is. And then everything goes good in the, the, the big pot. And they say, listen, honey, here's some money. Go do whatever you want with it. <laughs> I think it'll make them feel a lot better and that will help you guys accomplish your goal. And like I said, if they don't get on that or they keep going against what you're doing, then you guys are going to have to set some other policies or some things in policies. Well, something. <laughs> the verbiage. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to set something in place. Some boundaries right? for sure. For so sure. listen, that's just our tip of the week from you guys for Cupid's Corner. Remember, you guys can see us on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m., right? 30 minutes, you guys get to see everything about me and Sharice, plus our Cupid's Corner, give you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that you guys can definitely, definitely get something from for sure. So you guys can watch it live, DVR it, or if you don't get to do either one of those, you guys can always go over to our YouTube and watch the whole entire episode and all the other episodes. And if you don't like to watch us, you just go over to our podcast. You guys can listen to us on the road while you're working out, whatever you're doing. So we'll see you <laughs> next Sunday, 11 a.m. Cupid's Corner, baby. Tight medical health and lifestyle show coming at you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you guys for all the support. See you then.